here, let's say, a simple warehouse uh, built in uh, Stat Pro. Um, everything is ready. The sections are defined, and the internal forces are also ready. So instead of um, making an Excel report of this and over to the colleague who's going to do the detailed design, we have developed a plugin for Stat Pro where which you can see access to the user tools and uh, click on pathway export and the plugin will uh, produce a zip file where all the information is ready with all the geometry load combinations and so on everything you need uh, and which you typically send in reports to the, to the let's say the party and the company is doing the steel detailing it can be an external party can also be an internal colleague but uh, from our perspective both can benefit of uh, using the pathway platform. Now, what happens uh, once you have that um, zip file, which is, uh, let's say, which is uh, located here, uh, in that zip file, if you unzip it, you see we have everything there uh, ready to be uploaded. For that, you simply go to the platform. Um, let me do that very quickly. So you do a login uh, with your um, uh, credentials. So let me screen, let me log out. So you typically do a login. You have a, a login name, a professional email address, uh, and you uh, yeah, let's say which you should get by signing up. Uh, and then you sign in. Once signed in, uh, you will be able to start a project. I will call this a simple warehouse. And I will pick my license, and my license is typically the environment uh, which my account is attached to, which is typically a company environment where all my data is uh, secure, uh, and my colleagues also can, can have a look at uh, what is happening there. Um, just a second, so I have my own environment here. That's pathway, I create that project. Then I will pick in this case, because we got, we're Exporting the data from uh, Stat Pro, I will uh, pick this uh, option. I will select that uh, zip file as you see it here, and then I will upload that zip file very quickly, analyze the whole structure, and you will see in a couple of seconds, because it's a simple project, you will have the same geometry as you have seen in Stat, uh, which is now uh, in the cloud, shareable, uh, readable, and so on. So we have all the uh, labels of the connections, all the labels of the members. So everything is here. And the first thing we, we typically do is we give some insights, insights to, to have all the stakeholders which will be involved in the work, uh, well, in this project to, to, uh, to get aligned. And well, this is a simple project. That's why uh, maybe the insights are not that uh, insightful. So I have some bigger project here, a uh, bigger um, industrial building, uh, which we have some more things to tell about. So the insights we typically uh, give are simple counts, like the number of connections, the number of members, and so on. But also we give you an idea of the connection complexity in this project by giving you uh, this, well, we call it histogram, where you can see this is the amount of base plates, uh, so one member connected to a, typically a foundation, concrete foundation, if you have coupled through members, shear connections or column to beam connections and so on. So you get an idea of how complex this structure is. We also give you something about the members and sections if you want to change one to make production faster and more uniform. And then we also, uh, if the tools allow us, we also give you an idea of the stresses at the connection site. So before, let's say before starting um, diving into the detailed calculation in the RAM connection or whatever, uh, that you know at least what kind of data you have been uh, well, delivered. So you can see quite high of stresses in certain nodes and you can dive into them and ask questions. And also we have some other uh, insights which uh, allow other people uh, in the organization to have a quick look without having to open the structural model. So that's step one, and step two is typically, yeah, you need now to start uh, uh, designing, starting with the design process of your detailing. 
um, without having to figure out uh, grouping and uh, let's say critical load combinations and so on because they are both important for the final result. That's why we have built a, a, a smart algorithm, as we call it, which does the group analysis for you. Uh, and this uh, takes a couple of seconds instead of, uh, uh, well, a couple of days, uh, typically, um, where, where you see the result of this analysis is for this whole structure. You can see here that the algorithm has found uh, a number of groups which are 100% identical. So this is the largest group with 112 connections in it. Here you have a second group and so on. So this is a topological view, which we call the connections view, where we identify each exact connection in the complete structure. Well, not only for this kind of, uh, let's say, uh, repetitive structures, we also have more industrial buildings and so on. So the algorithm always does uh, this uh, same procedure. So you see for this group, uh, which will I take? Which I take for the, the, the rest of the demonstration? You can see here uh, the list of all the nodes which are within this, um, which well, are within this group. Uh, you can add or remove some of them. But this is a topological view, as I said, where we take into account three conditions: number of members should be the same, number of sections, well, number of the angles between the sections should be the same, and also the sections on the members should be. That's what you see here in this list. But before continuing uh, to, let's say, export to RAM connection or another detail design tool, you need to, to have a, great, a good idea about the critical load combination. That's what we do here in combinations. We show you, uh, let's say, which members on all these nodes are basically the same. And this is really a critical uh, step, uh, which needs to, takes to be a lot of time if you want to do it correctly. Uh, but we do it uh, in an algorithmic way. So we can uh, show you uh, after this, let's say, in the in these two uh, views. Which, first of all, which we this first one, which we call the dot plot, and here below, which we call yeah, table format, uh, where you can interact with the uh, extreme load combinations uh, one by one for all the exact members. So all these blue selected members. Here you have an overview of all the critical loads. So now it's a matter of. Uh, Selecting the extremes, I will pick the, the compression force, the lowest and the highest the tension force. I see also where they are occurring, it is in these positions. So, and I also can see in table format that it's indeed uh, it's this load combination and this connection and so on. And if I double click, I will see the most. So now, now I identified one load combination, which I definitely have to take into account in my design tool. For the second, the mapping of the members, that's also uh, done for you. And if you continue, you see also what the lower member beams, where you also have moments and so on, we you will be able to select all the extremes. And we also has a, have a plus. If, if in case we also import the stresses, you will be able to see uh, that, that there are load combinations which are flying under the radar, which are important also to take into account. So if I click also on this one, you will see uh, you will have some more uh, critical positions where you have also extreme nodes. Now that we have done this work, if you continue for four, five, and six, now it's a matter of rearranging all the data, taking care of the sign conventions, taking care of rotations or mirror nodes in the structure to have all this data imported into the tool you prefer. So for that, you go to templates, and there we also detect whether you have continuous members and so on. So you select one of one of the ones you want to have, uh, let's say, com made continuous and so on. And then from for all these uh, purple selected critical nodes, uh, we allow you to import, to map all the data on one chosen uh, say, topology, which you see here with the. Uh, 3D uh, orientation angles, and then simply for all these critical loads, which are on different positions, we map all the data on that node by giving you for the different connections, which would be your different load numbers, the different load combinations, uh, and all 29 and so on. Everything uh, gathered together, and then you will be allowed to export it in an easy way with an Excel approach, uh, or you can export it with this dot. 
to RAM connection or uh, another design tool we prefer. And then that's really important from our point of view. We try to manage data, make collaboration easy by being agnostic from the end to the end, so from the instructor engineering tool up to the detail designing tool, because in, in practice you really don't know where the data is coming from and where it needs to go for the detail design. Uh, so once you are ready there, it also are uh, possible to upload, let's say, your final design uh, by adding a, a picture uh, on that design. Uh, or you can add also some tagging, which you can communicate with uh, colleagues and even personalized tagging. For, for example, this was done for a client uh, in Asia. The material was uh, S235 and so on. So everything is there. You can also add the, the RAM connection file, the PDF file, revisions and so on, if you want to do that. Or, or even, uh, yeah, an Excel approach, you're still uh, using that one. Uh, and then you can safely sign this project off so that colleagues can find it here. Uh, and in this way, you start building up your uh, design library, which is a really important part of the platform also, because that will, that will start uh, well, our algorithms will, will suggest from your base of uh, designs, which we call the document knowledge base, solutions which you can reuse. Um, there is also a collaboration aspect to it. So, uh, for example, from once you have uploaded and signed off a project, uh, you will be able you'll be able to, let's say, communicate this data uh, with the draftsman, which will pick it up there. Uh, and um, say uh, have uh, the possibility to just go simply and say what was that client uh, X project, and you will see this is what the, uh, the well the, was it material was built as to was this project I signed it off. Uh, they can see uh, they can start uh, drawing things out and so on. So basically, we manage uh, also. Um, the next steps, like project managers can easily see for this project that 59 uh, connections are signed off, this amount still needs to be done, and so on. So this is basically building up on the go of your library. And finally, the last point I want to mention is also we have a design library. And it's something uh, which I would like to show you here as last point, where each company uh, in his own secure cloud environment can start building all these past projects by setting up private libraries, putting parts of it in a public uh, uh, situation with, where you can share them with uh, third parties if you want. That's a, uh, well, uh, a choice you have to make. Also, or, or also uh, add even design libraries like uh, a book which we have digitized with the Dutch Steel Association, uh, which we is the Shear Connection book, where you have let's say 2,000 sheep connections, which you can freely then uh, uh, go through. For example, if you want to connect an HA1000 uh, by uh, an M20 volt uh, with, an, let's say, according to that uh, Eurocode book with a head plate, and you see from those 2,000, you have four designs, which you can simply scroll over, or you can even add a, a maximum force of, let's say, 1650 kilonewtons in the VZ, VZ Z axis um, on this section, and you will see there is only one possibility which uh, satisfies these conditions. They can simply have a look at it and send it over to be drawn out.